I even named a, I even named one of the chapters, um, upper class white trash. I mean, and he was like pissed off. And so I said, and I went, he was like, I mean, you make sound like I grew up in a trailer park. And I went, but he did, but you did. First of all, you know, he followed me around for like a week because I had written another book from a guy named Ephraim Devaroli. Mm -hmm. uh, and Ephraim Devaroli is Jonah Hill. He's he's played by Jonah Hill in the movie War Dogs. War Dogs, okay. So I'd written his memoir. And so Doug had read parts of it because he was like, they were, their cells were close to each other. So then Doug came and he was like, bro, you got to write my book. You got to write my book. I was like, bro, you don't even have a fucking story. And I kept like brushing him off. And, <laughs> and he was like, what are you talking You don't even know my story. I'm like, well, well you're, you're doctor shopping. Like if I want a doctor shopper, I'm like, I could throw a rock and hit, bounce off 10 guys, yeah, right? That, that, 100 guys, you know, because Coleman had a huge turnover mm -hmm. too. So you're not talking about the same 1,800 guys. You're talking about 3,000 new guys every yeah. year are coming through. So- I was like, it's, it's not that big of a deal. I was like, bro, you don't even know what it is. And I was like, and I remember thinking, you know, you're right. You know, opportunity knocks very softly sometimes. So don't be a dick. Listen to him. So I listened to him tell the story. And as he was telling the story, I thought, that's really not bad. It's yeah. Not a bad story. Like there were some great, like there were some pretty cute things that I thought, you know, you're not gangsters. You nope. think you're a bunch of soft white kid that think they're tough guys, but you're not. You're really just a bunch of white trash guys that were grown in, in trailer parks and this and that What's so fun, funny is I said, look, okay, here's what I'll do. I'll write a synopsis. And if I can get some, some reporters interested in your story and get you into a magazine, like, I don't know. I said like Rolling Stone or something like that. I said, then I'll write the book. And he's like, bro, you think you can do that? I'm like, I don't know what I can do, bro. I'm in fucking federal, federal prison. I got yeah. 20 years to go. I got plenty of time to see what I can do. Yeah. So I wrote a bunch of letters. I got a reporter involved and he put it. He put the story in Rolling Stone magazine, and we sold the book and optioned the film rights to it. And I wrote, I wrote his whole book. But this kid, when he first came to me, he was begging me to write it. And at one point, he goes, "Bro, I'll give you half of everything, bro." And I went, "I go, that was that was always going to happen." Like, yeah, you're not giving me something that was gonna, wasn't like yeah. you're not offering me something that's like, "Wow, yeah. like, what are you thinking?" I'm writing it, right? What? What? And, and he went. He's like, no, bro, come on. So I said, okay, we'll write it like this, write it like that. And what's funny about that is when he started reading what I was writing, because I'm taking an outline and I'm writing, and I'm writing it in first person, because it, so it's, it's a memoir. It yeah. sounds like he's writing it, because mm -hmm. he can't write his own book. Yeah. So I'm writing it, and as he's re as we're going through it, and I'm writing it, he's like, bro, that, you know, honestly, you got to change some of this shit. And I'm like, w like what? It's like, like you, you basically say that like I'm, uh, we're a bunch of like you know trailer park trash guys or you know white trash. Like you, I even named a, I even named one of the chapters um, upper class white trash. I mean, and he was like pissed off, and so I said, and I went, he was like, I mean, you make sound like I grew up in a trailer park, and I went, but he did, but you did. Yeah, I said, we grew up in Hudson, right? I went, you know? Doug, I mean <laughs> Hudson's almost all trailer parks. It's a lot. And he's like, no, no, and I went, okay, you know this one story I told. Where did that happen? Well, well, yeah, that was that was my buddy's uh, my buddy's house. Like, was it a house? He's like, well, no, it was a double wide trailer. I said, it was a double wide. What about this story? Where did that happen? Well, man, that was a that was a sing that was a single wide. Okay, what about this one? Where did that guy live? Well, he lived in a in a trailer. It was a trailer park. It was a trailer. What about this? so I named like six stories, mm -hmm. and I said, Doug, where were you raised at this time? He's like, well, that was so I was living there with my mom, and and I go, was it a house? He's like, well, no, no, it was a it was a trailer. I go, okay. <laughs> But I haven't always lived in trailers. And I, I get that. But let's face it. Yeah, that's it's beginning where it began, though. Right. But see, people can't see themselves as themselves. Like they, yeah, you, they have a hard time accepting themselves. Right. By the end of the book, by the end of the book, when he's read it, he's literally, guys would be like, bro, what's uh, so what's up with your story? I mean, Cox is walking around. He's writing your story. Like, like, what's so great about your story? And Doug turns to the guy and goes... I mean, nothing, bro. I mean, we're just a bunch of, uh, he goes, we're just a bunch of trailer park uh, kids, you know, growing up and selling pills, man. And I looked at him and he, and he was like, and he, he, was, he was like that, like, Cause like it's, I was it, like, literally, nice, it's perfect. Good. Reading that book, if you were not from there, reading that book, it describes it perfectly. You get the picture perfectly. Yeah, he's, I he thought. owned it though. It's, it's so much better to own it. Mm hmm. And he, he did. By the end of it, he owned it. He was, and listen, he was great. And it's that's his what story. made the, it, you know, it, it is his story. story. It is. It's it's a great and it's a great story. Mm -hmm. There's nothing embarrassing about being, where you came from. Nope. So what? 
doesn't and matter. like Lance and Landon and them, they were like the kings anyway over there anyway. Right? They 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 were they had more and money. And they than grew Doug up in a trailer. Mm -hmm. And they were like big dogs. The, they yeah. Their parents got them out of everything. Listen, they were. Huh? They owned a homeless shelter. Yeah. It, yeah. It, but not just that, you know. Like, listen. Um, was it Landon? Landon's older. Um. So what? what okay. No. No. The the middle one. Um. Not the. So Lance. Lance. Who's the oldest? I think Landon's the oldest. Lance is the youngest. No, the I think. the oldest guy. I met him. I'm talking about the. Um, yeah, it was it was Landon. No, there's a there's a, a third brother. But the one that I met in, in uh, he was an amazing Chinese. athlete. The black guys, like they had like relay. Ra they had races. They did this. He was killing everybody. And I mean, the black guys were calling him the White Knight. They were like that oh, really? fucking white boy. Like he was it was, Richard. Yeah. Was it Richard Sullivan? No, no, no. no. It wasn't Richard. Um, Richard was the one that went to California to be like, try and be like a porn star, right? So yes. it wasn't, yeah. Yeah, that's Richard. Yeah. <laughs> so you gotta love that. Yeah, he's back now, but yeah, right. yeah. So, I no, forgot about that. Form. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this was one of the, the brothers. Yeah. That, but he was, he was like a, a great, he got his tooth knocked out. Remember he got his tooth knocked out. I'm trying because see I didn't know Landon because he was older. So Lance went to school with me, and I'm trying to yeah. Think it was Land. It was definitely was. it was Landon. They have an older brother, but he he was barely even in the story. Yeah, I can't. But I don't know. I'm sorry, I got off track because oh, I'm excited. Okay.